animal control dispatch. I've arrived on scene. Well, it's, it's really hot in there. Animal control to dispatch. I'll be inside the building looking for the owner. Excuse me, sir. Are you the owner of the white key outside? Nice, right? 28 miles a gallon. That's not what I was asking about. He, your dog's out there, the car's off. Windows are cracked, but it is very hot in that car. Well, it's not my dog, so. But it's in your car. Well, I borrowed the car. Look, are you gonna like give me a ticket or something? Because if you do, you should do it to this guy named Joseph Football, because that's his car. Well, it doesn't matter whose car it is right now. I'm not sure if we will give a ticket. Well, I want to explain the dangers of leaving a dog in a hot car like this. Yeah, but I think we both can agree it's better than putting a car in a hot dog. I don't know what you're talking about, sir, but at this moment, it is about 120 degrees in that car. That is not safe for a human, let alone an animal. You know, the dangers of leaving a dog in a hot car don't only include heat stroke. It can actually get entangled in anything in your car, injure itself. Going back to the heat stroke, it can actually lead to death of your animal. But I, you know, I have the window down. Even with the window down, it still can be very, very hot. Within 10 minutes, the, the heat in the car can be above 20 degrees than what it is outside. Sir, do you mind if we get the dog out of the car? I just want to make sure it's okay. We don't have to take it to the vet. Look, the, the dog's fine. I just realized I, I bought all that stuff. I didn't even get the bag. I was going to get the bag. No. Now we'll get the car. I'm no, going to head sir, out of really. here. I'm out of your hair. The dog's fine. Sir, no, really. We really have to get this taken care of. I mean, it can lead to a civil citation, even a cruelty charge, which is a, a felony. A cruel cruelty charge? Yes. I love this dog. I'm not cruel to my dog. By leaving this dog in a hot car, it is cruelty and as well as neglect. Neglect? Neglect? I'm about to neglect this whole conversation. Why don't you just get back in your truck and drive away? No, it's sir, fine. If it needs to come down to this, I can call the sheriff's office and they can help me with the situation. I got priors, okay? I love my dog. I'm mad enough to admit that I made a mistake. I, I shouldn't have yelled at you either. It, it, it's on me. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll take the dog out. We'll make sure he or she's fine. Come on. Come on. Look at this. Vero, healthy. All right, she does look very good. She's not in distress. Just make sure it doesn't happen again now that I've told you all the dangers that can happen to a dog in a hot car. Her name's Littlefoot. Hi, Littlefoot. I named her after my mom. Queen Anne's County Animal Control is there to help our community. They often respond to many incidents in and about our community. But don't be surprised if you see a deputy sheriff, a state trooper, or a local town police officer arrive on the scene. All of our goal and mission is to be there as quick as possible to help assist the community member or animal that is in need. Many times when you call, and we encourage you to contact the animal control number listed below on the screen, you will get a response from an animal control officer. But sometimes you may have a deputy or allied law enforcement agency officer closer that could respond. So don't be surprised when you see that law enforcement officer show up with our partners in animal control.